Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin So, this must be Grimoire. What? Awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. I guess we should head straight down. It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? You know, just this once. What? Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chip. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every time you find a new of the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time to mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the Choco Chick. Then they use your prism. before certain mirages will let down their guard and to give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box.
Choco Chick is inside the Prismarium, it's yours to the keep. Yeah. All right. Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strengthen the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even the decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. you can make different stacks. You aren't the allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to the be in Lilican form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the gimme golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. 
But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the Choco Chicks the Mirage board. Choco Chicks come along for a stroll. Huh? We found something. Yay! You have found it! Now, try examining the Gimme Golem one more at a time. Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros.
So, Tama, I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own worlds. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like... right there, on the tip of my tongue. What's this? This is the Kata Merkrift. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say... Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them! But... Uh, this one's not very cute. to the tell us try a little harder please Oh no, did you two die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes, that's because someone intervened. 
right at the moment of your demise and made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course, although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little and then the whisk you to safety. Although, it the cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little the while afterwards. A life? You might not to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to the do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Oh, the yeah! And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silk. Yes, the sir! Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. Yeah, uh... <laughs> hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. Oh. She That's must have experience crossing between planes. Would you both slow down? 